Hey guys, I'm E Review Guy, and this is a review of Pandora application for your personal computer. What Pandora essentially does, it records the activity on your computer and shows you dozens of recorded processes in detail. Pandora comes in three different editions Parental, Personal, and Business. Parental Edition is for parents who specifically want to monitor their child's behavior on their computers. With this addition, you can protect your children from online predators by locking cyber doors and windows in order to keep bad people away from them. Personal addition is all about learning what happens on your PC. It helps you understand how your computer and private records are being used. There's also a business edition, which is about improving office productivity, protecting your assets and eliminating cyber slacking. You can successfully monitor your employees' work, improve their productivity, and even stop sexual harassment in the office. Overall, you will train employees more efficiently and stop employee thefts. Okay, so let's jump into the application itself. As you install Pandora, it erases all the evidence that it was installed on your PC, including browser data. Pandora launches when you boot up your PC and stays hidden in stealth mode. Now, when you're installing Pandora, you're prompted to choose a key combination that brings out Pandora monitoring screen as you can see here, and a password to access it. This is what Pandora looks like. It shows you everything in full detail, what has been done on your computer from the time you have installed it. As you can see, it brought us straight into the snapshots gallery. Now, Pandora takes screenshots of your PC every few minutes, and you can view them here. So, for example, let's take a look what I was doing on my PC a bit earlier. Ah, yes, I was in the official Pandora website. And they also give you a time when the specific screenshot was taken. So you can view and monitor what was done on your computer on the specific date and time. And you can view the screenshots in the snapshots tab. The next section is called Programs, and it simply shows the programs that were run on your computer, and they even draw you a graph of the most used pro programs. Websites. This is a record of your browser's history. So, for example, if a person used your computer, they used a specific browser and they then they cleaned it, cleaned the history, you could uh, monitor what they were doing in this tab, no matter if they deleted the browser history. Keystrokes. This is a magnificent uh, section right here, because it keeps track of keys pressed as you can see how many it says here how many keys were pressed in the given application on a specific time period so for example firefox if i clicked on here it would show me all of the passwords that were typed all of the account names that were uh, written in firefox and you can view them right here so for example let's click on mass effect 3 and as you can see, it shows me that I pressed D, W, uh, A, S. These are the movement keys for the game. And yeah, chats. Uh, it tracks, it also tracks uh, the chats that were happening on your computer. User activity. This is a useful tool for parents. Uh, 
if they want to know how much time their children had spent on their computer. So for example, it shows uh, when your computer was turned on and when they locked down, when they logged off, when they shut down the computer. So parents can easily calculate how much time their child had spent on the computer. Email. In this section, you can keep track of uh, sent and uh, received emails that uh, were sent or read on this computer. Per to per connections. In this tab, you can uh, view the downloads that uh, were happening on your computer, all of the torrent downloads or other per to per programs. Webcam. There's also a feature on Pandora that uh, you can enable, and it will take uh, snap uh, screenshots from your webcam. As you can see, I have no screenshots of my webcam because I turned off this feature in order to save some uh, space on my hard drive. But you can enable this feature, and it will take screenshots, and you can uh, view the screenshots here and see what. Uh, uh, who was uh, sitting at your computer at specific time period. File tracking. Now in file tracking you can uh, see different actions uh, whether the file whether a file was created or deleted or renamed or copied or ev everything like that. Web requests. Um, this is simply uh, what was typed or clicked in your browser. Search queries. This is a tab that shows what a person on your computer was searching for. For example, on Google, Yahoo, or other search engines. Printer. Uh, it shows what was printed on your computer and if it was a success or no. Bandwidth. Uh, in this section you can keep track of different programs and how much bytes of information it received and how much bytes uh, it sent. And the last tab is called Facebook. And in Facebook tab you can simply uh, keep records of Facebook messages, uh, Facebook likes, dislikes, shares, and, and uh, all of the different Facebook stuff. You can simply keep record of Facebook activity. So this is it. This is the program. It is really, really useful, especially the Keystrokes tab. And if you would like to find out more about this application, and where you can get it, please click the link below.